what's going on we're back again um, so we've got some uh, new bits here this weekend and uh, some stuff arrived we've got lots more stuff to do now uh, we've got the bits for the water methanol so we'll do that setup for that um, and yeah we'll get into it stick around right so these are the tanks that came with the water injection kit from AEM that we bought off. Who did we buy them off? Jared. Jared, that's right. Jared, micro squirt. Mega squirt New Zealand. Yeah. So these are the tanks that came, but we are running out of room in behind the engine cover. We don't really want to put them there because that'll be on top of the electrical cabinet. So. And over there is quite a distance away from the pump. The pump's right there. Yeah, so we don't. It's got to go in there and out the back, and then up into the injector nozzle, which will be in there. So, I think I'll take some measurements from here and make a tank that essentially ends up flat in here, rather than long. So I'll make a sketch, take some dimensions and do a bit of CAD modelling and we'll see what we can come up with. Right, so this is what I've come up with. A bit of CAD, cardboard aided design, just to make sure it fits. So this is going to sit this way. Um, I've got a neck and cap on order from Franklin Performance in Napier. And basically that's what I come up with. So fill it in here. There'll be a boss in here. So we don't want this to um, evacuate any of the water methanol liquid. So I've dropped it down in a well. So the outlet fitting will be down here. And this bulge on the side, I have to uh, make a boss that's got it because the sensor that's in the in here actually has a nothing thread amazingly for america it is a metric form a metric pitch but it's a nothing diameter it's 29 mil 29 mil um, thread that is not a standard in the metric system so i'll have to make a boss and screw cut that but anyway that will end up screwing into there so that's the probe for water level so if the water goes below this that sends a signal off to the light on the dash that will show us that we're starting to run out because the last thing we want to do is run out of our water methanol mix with the engine tuned to run with water methanol because it might not uh, last anyway let's see if it fits so the idea is that this drop that a bit this will go in and up under here bolt there and bolt through there and as I said the cap will go there so that fits quite nicely and this is all that I had to put a cut out in the back for the bilge pump exit and the water coolant from the dump pipe or the engine there we should have clearance in the side there. Yep. And it just fits around here clean and nicely. So. Oops, a bit dark in there. But yeah, that back cut out is to miss the bits and pieces going through there. So a funny shape, but essentially that looks like it's going to work well. Awesome. So. Now I'll have to send that off to uh, too many too many uh, bends and shapes to do this manually. So I'll send it off to a profile cutter and they can cut and fold it for us. And while they're doing that, I'll make the boss for there and there and get the neck. Cool. Right, so the bits are being profile cut and folded. So that's what they look like now. So a bit of welding for Devon, he loves welding. Right, so there, that's the 
the base goes onto there like so there's another small piece fits in there like so so that'll all close that in and the mount goes on there that's the one that bolts up into the front the other mount well, i've got already got some aluminium folded up somewhere that uh, we'll use for the top mount yeah and as i said i'm gonna buy some caps so here's the cap from nigel franklin franklin performance beautiful quality put a link in the description to his website so it's got an o-ring in there but we're going to have to drill a small hole through here somewhere because it's got to be able to bleed air can't be sealed otherwise it'll create a vacuum and no water will go into the engine so just we'll work out what we do there <sighs> and then uh, these are the bits i had to make so as i said this was a this was a non-standard thread so had to make that so that will screw into there tapered for the o-ring to seat that goes into there and obviously this, this will be welded into there so that should work quite nicely so that gives us that level under that level there which will be right through to there when it gets under there the warning light will come on give us a bit of time to know that we've got to put some more mix in and then there's also this little box that goes in the bottom so that'll weld into there and that takes this fitting which is the outlet fitting for the tube into the pump and that'll screw in there bloody marvellous so, Devon's got to get busy and weld all that up. I do have a lot of electrical work to do. Priorities. <laughs> do you want to hear it run? <laughs> Can't run without water. I suppose it can. You can choose it without it. Right. Anyway, a bit to do now. Oh, some more stuff came during the week. So, this is the pipe for the funnels off the drain of the engine cover so inch and a half marine tube there's a couple of uh, small ball valves in there that we're going to use for the bleed off from the jet unit eight mil and hopefully some hose clips somewhere anyway so that can get on with that as well he has got to weld those bits of pipe in the back of the Thingy there, but uh, oh, the other thing I was going to do, I've made up was this as well. This is for our coolant overflow, so it's a little bracket that goes on there. Just put a couple of cable ties there and one around there if we think we need it, and then this will sit in here, hopefully. If I measured it right. So that will just go and bolt on, oh perfect, that will just bolt there and then we'll take our tube from here amongst all the rest of the spaghetti into there so that tucks away there just in front of the battery. It's just a universal bottle off the shelf <coughs> from our local uh, auto suppliers. Yeah that works good, perfect. So you just have to weld that up. Marvellous. So last time I was telling you how I accidentally just ordered the just the plug only so I put another order in from Bellinger Motorsports it was my error not theirs so I bought some more um, sent me a few stickers uh, so I got the terminals and pins and obviously I put a video out last week um, ordered these from America a couple of days after that and they're here within it was less than a week that they turned up so with the world and the state that it is these still turned up really quick so have a look at these guys i've got another package coming from them um i bought another couple of these plugs so these are a heavy duty plug for the automethanol injection you see the terminal size is a lot bigger so i bought 
another one of those and uh, the same type of plug but a three pin for our hydraulic pump so I'm just waiting for them to turn up uh, I might have to put the electrical stuff on hold while I uh, do the work for the old man's uh, water methanol tanks <sighs> we might clean up a little bit there's uh, shit everywhere I mean, not shit, crap, stuff. stuff. Right, so I'm just gonna do a couple of plugs while the old man sets up all the stuff I need to weld. So I just thought I'd show you the, the comparison between the OEM plugs and what you receive from Bellinger. So that's an OEM plug, and that is the Bellinger. So you can't even tell the difference between them. They are very high quality and just look exactly the same. So they do have some quality stuff. So if you do need your plugs, I'd suggest you get them from them. Um, yeah, good one-stop shop anyway. Right, I'll do some wiring. I'm not going to show you, but you know, let's do it. So, cardboard, aluminum, I just finished welding up this tank, it's still hot. So there's the bung on the side for the water uh, level, water methanol level, the filler, and on the bottom we have the outlet that goes to the pump. So that's one done. Uh, get that chucked in and see what it looks like. Cool. The old man's just mounting up my water tank. I just finished welding that up. Just got to sort some uh, bulge oh, welds well, underneath there. Put a packer on yours. Or you could just send it off. It's going to burn your carpet. I'll cover my carpet. So there's my water tank done. Just going to chuck that up. My one done, ready for install, and I've been working on all this spaghetti, but I've finally got all this stuff covered. So there's the coils, comes with the water intake, air temperature, and then there's all fuel pump, starter motor, knock sensor, alternator, they all go in there, and then I'll wrap all these together and put the large stuff over the whole lot and then that follows its way around here down there into the electrical box I just have to wire up the VVTi solenoid and the oil pressure sensor uh, but I'll run those by themselves that way and pick up the boost solenoid and that's going to be on the back of there yes so my loom's just about done up to the box anyway just got to do exactly the same on the old man's boat so another productive weekend well we're only doing one day this weekend because the old man's still doing his beehive course so i've started um with beehives at their house and making honey for themselves so He's busy doing that. So I got all the wiring in, uh, finished off the VVTi and the oil pressure switch. So that all just needs to go and get terminated and covered. And then we got both water storage, water methanol storage containers done. So they look pretty swish in back there. Nice cap. Fill her up. And there it is, tucked away nicely in there. The, all the steering cables go over top and the water. So it's real cool. So next I'm going to work out 
some accelerator cable because we've got a worker accelerator cable between here and our uh, our levers. So I've got to get some uh, cable from somewhere. So progress is good. Once all those are in, we can uh, fire it up. So I'm looking forward to that. Catch you on the next one. Catch up.